Hello everybody, uh, welcome to session 1 of chapter invertebrates. The objective of today's class is to explain life cycle of silk moth, to state importance of silk fiber and to list characteristics of silk fiber. As silk worm uh, helps to produce one of the best natural fiber that is silk fiber that's why it has a great importance and the silk fiber we can obtain it from the cocoons you can see here cocoons uh, of the silk worm and in Nepal we rear two types of silk moth one is seri silk moth and other is airy silk moth uh, airy silk moth scientific name is Atacus rishini and seri silk moth scientific name is Bombyx mori and leaf of airy silk moth it feeds on castor leaves it's a kind of plant uh, which you know like seeds can produce oil and we have seri silk moth and it feeds on uh, mulberry leaves classification uh, its kingdom is animal so kingdom uh, is invertebrate because it has no any backbone and phylum is orthopoda because it has jointed legs and class is insecta and common name is silk moth silk moth uh, it, it is creamy white in color and it is about 2.5 centimeter long and if you look at its body then its body is divided into three parts head head is here thorax and abdomen and head has a pair of feathery antenna antenna is a sensory organ and a pair of compound eyes similarly the thorax it contains two pairs of wings and three pairs of jointed legs abdomen it is a hairy part and it contains 10 segments and uh, uh, the silk moth it is unisexual it means male and female are separate and it can be distinguished easily uh, like a female body is uh, more wider than the male body because its abdomen contains large number of eggs inside it the adult uh, stage of silk moth it doesn't fit anything and that is why it is very weak and cannot fly properly like other insects uh, the life cycle of silk moth also has four stages and they are eggs larva pupa and adult and the adult they mate and after immediately mating after immediately mating uh, the fem the male uh, silk moth dies and during the mating the male silk moth injects its sperm inside the female body and the male and female gamete meet inside the female body that's why they have internal fertilization and to complete the life cycle of silk moth it takes about 45 days the female lays about 300 eggs in clusters upon the leaves uh, and then immediately uh, the female silk moth also dies the eggs at the beginning uh, it is white in color and size is like pinhead but with time it gets matured and its color turns into gray in color and there is a uniqueness of uh, eggs of silk moth uh, to hatch uh, it needs right temperature that is from 18 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius so if the eggs uh, don't get this temperature the eggs will not be hatched that is why we can store these eggs keeping the uh, you know temperature below 18 degrees Celsius sometime what may happen is the leaves uh, that may not be available and in that case what we can do is eggs can be stored below the temperature 18 degrees Celsius and later when it is available then we can uh, you know like give the temperature between 18 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius and then eggs will hatch um, within 10 to 12 days when uh, larva emerges out from the egg it is 6 millimeter long and 
brown in color and if you look at its body then its body is also divided like adult that is head thorax and abdomen and the larva is voracious feeder if it is voracious feeder and it feeds on leaves of mulberry leaves or let's say castor leaves and because of you know like eating eating too much it grows its body size very quickly and uh, uh, during its life it changes its skin five times sorry four times and that changing its skin is called molting and, uh, and each stage is called insta that means there are total five instars during the molting process it it you know it stops feeding and remains inactive after each molt what does it do is it grows very rapidly at last uh, molting that means after fourth molting the fifth instar what does it do that it produces a pair of silk gland on the side little side of the body and it starts secreting a fluid a sticky fluid and when this sticky fluid uh, you know is exposed to air then it turns into hard and fine thread and this fine thread starts wrapping its body and form a case and that case is called cocoon and the cocoon is white or yellow in color and it is oval in shape and it takes about 25 to 32 days to complete this stage the pupa is uh, inactive stage inactive stage of life cycle uh, and it is protected uh, by the cocoon or we can also call it puparium but under inside it uh, there are internal development is going on and that internal development is called metamorphosis and to complete this stage it takes around 12 to 14 days and the silk fiber that we can get from east cocoon is approximately 1000 meter and this cocoon uh, to get the silk fiber first of all we keep either in boiling water or in hot oven so that uh, the glue that is present between the fibers can be removed and it will be easy to collect the fibers out of all the uh, cocoons uh, some we do not uh, boil it and then uh, after some time the pupa changes into adult silk moth and this adult silk moth what they do is they break down they break the wall of the cocoon and emerge out and that young adult that comes out is called imago and after uh, emerging they dry the wings and then it start flying and uh, after emerging it uh, survives for five to seven days after that they start mating in this way life cycle is completed now silk it is also known as queen of fiber because it is soft strong durable and shiny fiber and it is very elastic in nature and it can absorb water very easily because of unique characteristics of silk fiber, it has a very uh, big economic importance. And uh, the clothes that is made up of silk fiber, you know, it is suitable for all climates, all season. Like in summer, it gives you feeling of coolness. And in the winter, it gives you the feeling of warmness. Similarly, this silk fiber is the strongest fiber as we discussed before. It can be used to make strings of fishing or surgical purpose. And by selling it, the you know like life of individual farmers can be improved. And the clothes that is made from silk fiber, it is very light and very comfortable to wear. And the process of rearing a silk moth on a commercial basis that process is called sericulture with this thank you so much we'll see you in session two of chapter invertebrates thank you